Hello, this video is to demonstrate the various ways that you can control an airplane inside virtual reality. Right now we're in the airport of Jerez de la Frontera, Spain, in a Carinado Muni, and we're sitting here on the, on the, uh, the runway. Let's look at some of the possible combinations we can use to control the airplane. The first and most obvious is we can use the mouse. Here it is. With the mouse we can push various buttons and as you can see the, the, the buttons will react to the mouse just like they do in a normal cockpit. The other way we can control is we push the flight, the fly inside button. I'm going to move this thing down. And the various buttons inside the cockpit light up when I put the little blue dot from fly inside over them. That is actually one of the most effective ways of using... I'm going to get rid of the yokes. There. The third way that you can control the cockpit is to use the hands that come with the Oculus Rift. I assume that the, the Vive also has hands. This is the, the solution that Laminar Research wants to use in the future. We, it, to me, it's pretty clumsy. It's not an easy way to do things. But Laminar Research has decided that's what they want to do. Um, I have a lot of trouble grabbing things with these hands, uh, perhaps with practice. The way that I most prefer to control the airplane is by speaking to it using a, a $20 program called Plane Command. There's a button that I can push on my throttle and then I give a command flaps down flaps down flaps going down release brakes brakes released just that easily we can control things set heading to 240 heading bug set to 204 degrees Set heading to 240. Heading bug set to 240 degrees. It doesn't always hear me correctly. Sometimes I have to repeat. Let's get in the air. Gear up. Landing gear going up. Landing gear up and locked. Flaps up. Flaps going up. That's a whole lot easier than fiddling around with knobs, especially when my hands are full with the throttle in one hand and the yoke in the other hand. Laminar Research wants to use the two hands. Uh, it looks like that would put the hands on the yoke. I'm not sure how you would push the buttons. I also have a button that I push to talk to pilot to ATC, and that's on my throttle. So I'm really hoping that when Laminar Research finishes their virtual reality, there's a checkbox to turn off the virtual hands and allow something like the little blue button and fly inside to work. Okay, so let's uh, start using the autopilot. Autopilot on. Autopilot on. 
Heading hold on. Heading hold on. The plane now turns to the heading. Set altitude 1,500 feet. Altitude set to 1,500 feet. Now I can turn on the altitude button and I push the up. I push the vertical hold, the vertical speed button. I push that up three times and I get a positive 300 feet per minute vertical speed control. So that will take us up to 1,500 where we'll level off. Uh, I can control the autopilot by clicking on the autopilot buttons which are light lit up just like that which is really pretty easy. I should mention that Fly Inside is the program that we currently use to connect the X-Plane to the virtual reality headsets like the Oculus Rift or the, the Vive. Uh, Fly Inside is a separate program. It's inexpensive. And we can't get along without it. So now we're on course and at our altitude. To turn off the autopilot, all I have to do is say autopilot off. And I can switch to nav just as easily. Okay, now we're gonna change planes and look at another uh, airplane that's a part of my stable. Here we are in a different airplane. This one is the Aerosphere Piper Aero 4 Turbo. Come outside and look at it. This guy. And this airplane controls exactly the same way uh, as the as the the Mooney, uh, the mouse will control various and sundry knobs, or I can push the fly inside button, and those knobs will also be controllable. Uh, they ha the knobs have an interesting feature. Let's see if I can get it to work. Apparently not. Um, it will work on the vertical speed. This is this airplane does not have an up and down button. So to control vertical speed, I have to go to the vertical speed knob and then I get arrows. And these arrows I can leave in the air as long as I need to to have them work for us. But you see I can set negative vertical speed or positive vertical speed with the arrows. Uh, and then you turn that off. That's, that's the way that you control knobs. The easy way, of course, is to just talk to the system. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. And I'm going to return to the airport and land the airplane. This is Jerez de la Frontera in southern Spain.
Gear down. Landing gear going down. Landing gear down and locked. Flaps down. Flaps going down. This plane has two flap settings, so I have to give the command flaps down for each of them. The, fir the first one is the takeoff position, the second one is a landing position. Flaps down. Flaps down. Flaps going down. The last two feet wasn't the best last two feet I've ever done, but we all walk away.